The 50th executive team of Toastmasters Club 1600 was installed Thursday night during a special service at Government House. The venue was chosen to mark former Prime Minister Sir Lyndon Oscar Pindling's installation of the first 1600 executive team many years ago. Commissioner of Police Alison Greenslade delivered the keynote address. He charged those present to be the change they want to see. Very few of us wish to read from the scripts of our hearts connected to our heads and how dismayed am I when that happens. That is why our younger people pay no attention to us. That is why people go off on their own directions and say, as I started, I'll be what I want to be and I'll do as I wish because I'm not sure you are inspiring me to change in this direction that you think I should go. President, accept this challenge. The newly inducted, newly inducted President Valentino Monroe said change through leadership will be their legacy tying in with the club's theme this year. Monroe outlined a number of initiatives his club plans to launch. We are committed to conduct our first youth leadership program with the Ramfley Home for Boys. This group will undergo Eight weeks of communication and leadership training that will no doubt assist in the further development of their self-confidence and self-worth. This year, 2014 will see the launch of the Club 1600 Leadership and Communications Foundation. A committee has already been named and, and they are charged to develop plans to raise funding for the establishment of a, of a facility that will serve as headquarters for Toastmasters in the Bahamas.